Hi everybody, my name is Caden. I'm Jaden. I'm Nicole. I'm Eli. And I'm Jason. And we're the Hulu to our YouTube channel. And those are our dogs. And we can't get away from it. It doesn't matter when we do this. It matters that our dogs are messing around. How are you guys doing out there? Thank you guys very, very much. This is a series that we are doing called The Letters of Shawl or Paul. And what we are doing is because we are attempting to be good Bereans, we are documenting Paul's laws. Now, for those who have never seen anything that we have done, we are on about a day 190 of reading through Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and we are in the middle of Deuteronomy right now, and we are documenting and recording every law, statute, and command that our Creator has given to us. And Deuteronomy 4.2 says that we need to not add to or take away from the Torah. And for those who don't know what the Torah is, that is Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. And so when we get into the letters of Brother Shaul, there is a tremendous amount of confusion. There is a lot of stumbling blocks. Now, for the first ones that we did this, I think Jade and I, we did First Timothy together? No, we did Ezra. We, we, all, we all did it, Timothy we and We all did Timothy? Okay, so, but who did Titus? We all did. Everybody, we all Everybody. did? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I, I'm so confused. We read too much. Okay, so anyway, we have gone through First Timothy, and we've gone through Titus then. So the question that we begin to ask is, first of all, is Paul's writings doctrine or not? And we can't go through and say all of Paul's doctrines are yes, approved, or all of them are no, they're not as, you know, compared to the Torah. But we have to go through them individually because as of right now, I would say if you want good doctrine that does not go against the Torah, I would say 1 Timothy is out. 1 Timothy is not a book of doctrine and is not something that you should bring to your doctrine. It is something that has the book itself has 27 other laws other than that are outside of the Torah right here. These are all of Paul's laws, 27 from six chapters of one book. That's only 1 Timothy, friends. So as we read through Titus, we are going to actually add those into the laws of Paul. And today we're going to be reading of Thessal Thessalonians. And so this is where we will begin and we have this in several different versions. Caden's version is the Hallelujah Scripture, so is Jade's. Nicole's is the Amplified Bible. Yep. Uh, Eli, I don't even know if he's reading anything I here. the NIV on the right. <laughs> the NIV on the right. And then the top right, we have the NIV. And then the left, we have the King James Version. So we are studying to show ourselves approved unto Yah, a workman who needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of Scripture so that we are able to see what is doctrine and what is not. So um, the first book, did we, what about Titus? We, the first Timothy, I would say that is not. Okay, how about going around the group? First Timothy, doctrine or not, Kate? Uh, no. Should you add this to your doctrine? Uh, chapters 1 and 6 were decent. Everything in between was pretty terrible. So I would say majority is bad, so probably not. Yeah, and, and we're looking for everything within a book. Can it be considered doctrine or not? And if there's one page or two pages out of a book, I, I would consider that a fail when there's like, you know, another four or five pages along with it that bring 27 additional commands. Nicole, doctrine or not, do you know? No. Do you have an opinion? Eli, doctrine not or not? Not doctrine. Not doctrine or not. Now, for Titus, do we have doctrine or not? Cade? I think that one's doctrine. I think it was all right. Jade? I don't think so because I think he talks about like deacons and stuff and appointing elders and stuff. And that's not biblical. It's not... It's not what we should be doing. Cause they're I not, think there was only two or three things that were wrong in Titus. Right. So we'll have to get back to you on Titus being a uh, doctor or not. And when we're done with this, the question will be to you guys, is First Thessalonians doctor or not? So what we're looking for is we're looking for things that oppose the Torah, things that are adding to or taking away from the Torah, or if it's just good, really good advice, that's really what we're looking for. All right, so here we go. Paul and Silonach and Timothus, Unto the called out assembly of the Tasla Lycium, which are in the which are in Elohim the Father, and in Adonai Yahusha Hamashiach, grace be unto you and peace from Elohim our Father and Adonai Yahusha Hamashiach. We give thanks to Elohim the Father always for all, for you all, making mention of you in our prayers. Now this is guys, remember what we're doing here is this is a letter to a church, right? For for whatever reason, Paul went out and decided he was going to start creating churches all over the place. And so this is what we are looking at and what we're trying to decipher. Is it based on Torah where we didn't have, we didn't know about churches, right? And Or is this not? So this is the letter to them, right? So remember, this is a, we're a third party to this. So we're kind of eavesdropping on this. Verse three, remembering without ceasing your work of faith and labor of love and patience of hope in our Adonai Yahusha HaMashiach in the sight of Elohim and our Father. Knowing, brethren beloved, your election of Elohim, 
For our Besorah came not unto you in word only. And Besorah is what, boys? Good news. Good news. But also in power and in the Ruach HaKadosh and in much assurance. As ye know what manner of men we were among you for your sake. And ye became followers of us and of Adonai, having received the word in much affliction with joy of the Ruach HaKadosh. So that we, ye were examples to all that believe in Macedonia and Achaia. And I don't know why I have that... that highlighted i actually do but that makes no sense i was trying to figure that out earlier so some point in my life i was reading through this and i i don't know why i marked it for from you sounded out the word of adonai not only in macedonia and achaia but also in every place your faith in yahuwah is spread abroad so that we need not to speak anything for they themselves show of us what manner of entering in we had unto you and how ye turned to elohim from idols to serve the living and true elohim and to wait for his son from heaven whom he raised from the dead, even Mashiach Yahusha, which delivered us from the wrath to come. Okay, verse 10 is a trinity breaker, right? Because right. it says, it says, it waits for the sun from heaven. And right. the Christians, I, I argued that all today, today, about that. Um, they think it's all the same individual. All right, any problems, anything in this verse? Um, anything in this chapter? It seems all right, you know, he's just telling them that they're, they're following Yahushua, they're praying for him. Yeah, I mean, this this sounds like a normal letter. There's no rules, there's no commands, there's nothing in this. It, it jives, as far as we know, with Torah. All right, 1 Thessalonians 2. For you yourselves, brethren, know our entrance in unto you, that it was not in vain. But even after that we had suffered before and were shamefully entreated, as ye know at Philippi, we were bold in Elohim to speak unto you the Besora of Elohim with much contention. Okay, so I guess at Philippi they got in trouble or yeah, something. Yeah, a little beat up. Yeah, for our exhortation was not of deceit, nor of uncleanness, nor in guile, but as we were allowed of Elohim to be to be put in trust with the Besorah, even so we speak not as pleasing men, but Elohim, which tries our hearts. For neither at any time used we flattering words as ye know, nor a cloak of covetousness, Elohim is witness. Nor of men sought glory we, nor of men sought we glory, neither of you, nor yet of others, when we might have been burdensome as the apostles of Mashiach. But we were gentle among you, even as a nurse cherishes her children. So being affectionately desirous of you, we were willing to have imparted unto you, not the besorah of Elohim only, but also our own souls, because ye were dear unto us. For ye remember, brethren, our labor and travail, for laboring night and day, because we would not be chargeable unto any of you, we preached unto you the besorah of Elohim. Ye are witnesses, and Elohim also, how purely and uprightly, and were without blame among you that believe. And as ye know how we exhorted and comforted and charged every one of you as a father does his children, that ye would walk worthy of Elohim, who has called you unto his kingdom and glory. For this cause also we thank Elohim without ceasing, because when we heard the word of Elohim, which we heard of us, you received it not as the word of men, but as it is in truth, the word of Elohim, which affectionately works also in you that believe. What's he talking about, in a, boys? He's talking about the word of Elohim. Is yeah. he paying attention? I am. Is everyone out cold? No. Pay attention, there, boys. Let's take a look. So what he's talking about right here is he is talking about um, that it, it, it has nothing different than, than Torah, right? It's, it's basically just talking about um, the word of truth. And the word of truth is the Torah. And um, he's basically saying that you believe, right? There's, no, there's nothing so far outside of anything. I would say right now at this point, these books um, are not written by the same people. The, the last two books that we read, it has nothing so to like. So far he hasn't given any command. He's basically just telling them what like they did for them. Yeah, and I mean, maybe it gets crazier in Second Thessalonians. Okay. And we have, for ye brethren became followers of the called out assemblies of Elohim, which in Yahud are in Mashiach Yahusha, for ye also have suffered like things of your own countrymen, even as they of Yahudim, who both killed Adonai Yahusha and their own prophets and have per persecuted us, and they please not Elohim and are contrary to all men, forbidding us to speak to the other nations that they may be saved, they might be saved, to fill up their sins always, for the wrath has come upon them to the uttermost. But we, brethren, being taken from you for a short time in presence, not in heart, endeavored the more abundantly to see your face with great desire. Wherefore we have come unto you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. For what is our hope, or joy, or crown of rejoicing? Are not even ye in the presence of our Adonai Yahusha HaMashiach at his, at his coming? For ye are glory and joy. 
Gotcha. Okay, any issues one, at all? One and two I've is so no far good. problems with this. This seems pretty good. So, it sounds fine. Yeah, it sounds absolutely fine. I, I wish all of Brother Shaw's writings were as clear as this. All right, chapter three. Wherefore, when we could no longer forbear, we thought it good to be left at Athens alone. Okay, so they went to Greece and they sit there, there alone. And sit Timothus, our brother and minister of Elohim, and our fellow laborer in the Besor of Mashiach, to establish you and to comfort you concerning your faith. That no man should be moved by these afflictions, for yourselves know that we were appointed thereunto. For even when we were with you, we told you before that we should suffer tribulation even as it came to pass, and ye know. For this cause, when I could no longer forbear, I sent to know your faith, lest by some means the tempter have tempted you, and our labor be in vain. But now when Timothus came from you unto us, and brought us good news of your faith and love, and that ye have good remembrance of us always, desiring greatly to see us, as we also to see you. Therefore, brethren, we were comforted over you in, all affliction, in our affliction and distress by your faith. For now we live, if ye stand fast in Yahuwah, for what thanks can we render to Elohim again for you, for all the joy wherewith we joy for your sakes before Yahuwah. Night and day praying exceedingly that we might see your face and might perfect that which is lacking in your faith. Now Elohim himself and our father and our Yahuwah, Yahusha, Hamashiach, direct our way unto you. Okay, now what does that say? Did you, this one's, this is a weird writing. In this verse is verse 11. Verse 11. Okay, it says, and, and our Elohim and father himself and our Adon, Yehoshua, Hamashiach, direct our way to you. Yeah, so it's supposed to be Adonai. Huh? Yeah, yeah, it should be Adonai. So this is yet another dark side pigeon mess up. So, yeah, so look at that. It's not it's not Yahuwah, Yahusha, Hamashiach. It's it's what does yours say? What's the correct Adon. one? It says Adon. Adonai, right? Yeah, so then Adonai Adon is master. master. Yeah, master. So it should say Master Yahusha Hamashiach. Yet more of the reasons why you should never ever get a uh, the Suffer app. They've totally blotched everything here. The Amplified says, Now may our God and Father himself and our Lord Jesus Christ guide our steps to you. Yeah, see, it says, whereas yours says Lord is, is, is Yahuwah, Yahusha HaMashiach. He completely botched this. Yep. Okay, verse 12. And Yahuwah make you to increase and abound in love toward another and toward all men, even as we do toward you. To the end, he may establish your hearts, unblameable in holiness before Elohim, even our Father, at the coming of Adonai Yahusha HaMashiach with all his Kadeshim. And I want to take us real quickly back to this verse 11 here, where it has, uh, you know, even in, even in the NIV has it right. Now we may call, now may our God and Father himself and our Lord Jesus clear the way for us to come to you. So, yeah, it should not say Yahuwah Yahusha HaMashiach. This is... This is incredible. So this is why you guys need to study yourselves to be approved unto Yah, a workman who needeth not to be ashamed. You can't take one single verse and call it doctrine. You have to go through this. In fact, you have to go through many translations as, you know, this, this stuff was originally Greek, uh, Hebrew prior to that. And so um, this was probably all written in Greek. All right, let's roll. Chapter four. Furthermore, then we beseech you, brethren, and exhort you by Adonai Yahusha, that as ye have received of us how ye ought to walk and to please Elohim, so ye would abound more and more. Okay, for those who never follow on anything that we do, and this comes up and they, they actually see this, because they, they will probably see it. A lot of people will never ever watch our Yahoo and the Torah stuff where we go over the commandments. What does it mean to walk and to please Elohim? What could that possibly mean? It means to walk in the righteous path, which is following the Torah, doing as Yahuwah commanded us to do. And how do you please Elohim, Eli? By keeping his commandments. Right. Okay. Verse 2. For ye know that what commandments we gave you by Adonai Yahusha. For this is the will of Elohim, even your sanctification, that ye should abstain from fornication. Okay. That's great. Uh, that's Torah, right? Yep. That's okay. Great. That every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor. Okay. That does not go against the Torah. Or, I mean, it's, it's really good advice, right? We're supposed to, uh, mm -hmm. our vessel, what is our vessel? Our, our vessel, soul. Our temple, yeah, our, our thing. Not in the passionate lust, even as the other nations which know not Elohim. Mm, right. That no man go beyond and defraud his brother in any matter, because that Yahuwah is the avenger of all such, as we have also forewarned you and testified. So far this book, it's 100%. Yeah, this Excellent. is so, so far, we are 100% with this book. Beautiful. For Elohim has not called us unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. He therefore that despises, despises not man, but Elohim, who has also given unto us his Ruha HaKadosh. But as touching brotherly love, ye need not that I write unto you, for ye yourselves are taught of Elohim to love one another. 
And indeed, you do it toward all the brethren which are in Macedonia. But we beseech you, brethren, that ye increase more and more. So what is he saying? He says increase what? Don't just love all the Macedonians, but love everyone everybody. else. Everybody, yeah. And I mean, that is absolutely, you're supposed to love our neighbors, supposed to love widows, orphans, all this kind of stuff. We love kids. everyone. Yeah, absolutely. Especially the stranger. And the Jews will say, no, you're goys, you can't be that. But there is one Torah for the stranger and one Torah for the Ebrey people. And hopefully you guys are all Ebrey people. Verse 11. And that ye study to be quiet and to do your own business and to work with your own hands as we commanded you. All right. This is the first thing that's odd. What does your guys say? And to make it your ambition to live peaceably and to attend to your own and to work with your own hands as we commanded you. Okay, do we have... Okay, so what do we have here? Is this... is This rings like outside of the Torah. Yeah, I, I don't see anything wrong with working your own hands or being peaceful. I mean, that's what you should be. You should be a peaceful... Or the brother. Okay. Um, so you study to be quiet. Does your guys say study to be quiet? Okay, NIV says, and to make it your ambition to lead a quiet life. To live, a pe live peaceably. You should mind your own business and work with your hands, just as we told you. Okay. Um, I mean, that's like that's Proverbs. really good. It's not like Proverbs. It is Proverbs. Really good advice, but is it? Is it's not it, a Torah command. It is not a Torah I don't command. Think, I don't think it says, like, I mean, probably shouldn't be busybodying this for sure. But why would you study to be quiet? And, and that you study to be quiet. Mine says, and to make your ambition to live peaceably. And mine doesn't say anything about studying. It says to live peaceably. Yeah, okay, King says it. King says to study to be quiet. Mm -hmm. What's this suffering? And to do your own business and to work with your own hands as we commanded you. Okay. Yeah, you should work with your own hands. Is there anything do. outside of Torah or is this just a it good does, I don't think it contradicts the Torah. I mean, it, I mean, we should we should live, we should try to be peaceful. That's what love is, that we're in peace. Right. What about working with your own hands? What do we make of this? Yeah, I mean, that's something we should do. Where we should all be working with our hands. Work with your hands. Uh, how else would you work? I don't know. Your feet? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. I have no idea. All right, so do we find anything that's, that's wrong or anything outside? No. Okay. I, I don't see anything. 12. That ye may walk honestly toward them that are without, and that ye may have lack that ye may have lack of nothing. Okay, that's all Torah commands, right? You're supposed right. to take care of them. Behave decently toward those who are outside. Right. But I would not have you to be ignorant brethren concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others that which have no hope. Wow, that was hard to understand. Okay, it's, now, brothers, we do not want you to be ignorant concerning those who have fallen asleep, lest you be sad as others who have no expectation. Uh, I think when they say fall asleep, they're dead, right? Yeah, and he says, brothers and sisters, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death. Okay. Yeah, so basically saying the ones who died were like, didn't know. Right, because they didn't believe in the resurrection. Some some people did not believe in resurrection at the time. Even as others which have no hope, yeah. Okay, so there's nothing anti Torah here. For if we believe that Yahusha died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Yahusha will Elohim bring with him. Okay? So this is this is some interesting stuff, right? We, this is where we're sleeping with Yahusha. For this we say unto you by the word of Yahuwah, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of Yahuwah shall not prevent them which are asleep. For Yah himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the shofar of Elohim, and the dead Mashiach shall rise first. Did you Mine's, say Yahuwah? It says, oh, it says the Adon. Yeah, so this Yahushua. is a dark-sided pigeon thing. The, dark, the pigeon has totally gone to the dark side. It should not say that. It says it's, it's, it's Ye take, Yahusha, right? Yeah, We've says, never heard of Yah coming down and doing this. So right here in verse 16, it said, and look in the NIV. It's sad when the NIV has this better than Dr. Stephen Pigeon. So it, it, they, they did they get it. They should take the stuff out of the play store. They should take the stuff out of the play store and stop charging people for it. Definitely. Um, definitely. Okay, so it's, it's the Lord, right? It does not say Yah. And Lord is not a, uh, that, that's not Yah. I've never heard that before, that Yah will descend from heaven with a shout. He has 16, 17, 18. They're, they're completely all jacked. Let me read it again for what he says. For Yah, and it doesn't, it's not Yah, it's, it's for the Lord. Yahushua himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the shofar of Elohim, right? So it wouldn't be, if, if it was really Yah, it would be his shofar, right? So right. it would say something, for Yah himself will descend with his shofar from heaven, right? But then it says, and with the shofar of Elohim, and the dead in Mashiach shall rise first. Then when we are alive and remain, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet Yah in the air. And so shall we ever be with Yahuwah. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Uh, that's where a lot of people get confused with the rapture, I see. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely, like, right? This is like the end of time. I think he said these people are dead. He didn't say these people were living to get raptured. I mean, how hard is that to figure out? Yeah, it, it's it's not. It's not a rapture. But this is, this is sketchy here we're on verse 16. Uh, in this translation. And so your guys just say Adonai? Adon. Yeah, Adon. 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 And it referenced Adon before that. Right. And so 
this is where we are at. We must study to be well. And I hope you guys out there are able to see this. Even though we read from the Sefer, we are there to correct the Sefer. The Sefer is a mess. That And I'm talking about the Sefer app. The other, the, the Sefer hardbound books, I do not think all of this, this garbage that they've written in there is in there. And when I say garbage, I'm talking about bad translations that they have snuck in there because the Sefer never used to say this stuff. And then they send updates out and then everybody got updated. All right, so that's it. Let's go into 1 Thessalonians 5. Is this the last chapter of this? Yep. All right. But of the times and the appointed seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of Yahuwah so comes as a thief in the night. Did you guys say the, the Yahuwah? Yeah, Yahuwah. Okay. Yahuwah comes so they, in there. The translation here is strange as well because in the, in the other one it says Lord, right? So mm -hmm. they're pertaining to stuff to Lord. And what is Lord exactly? It's kind of like a master. Yeah. So are they saying that Yah is coming as a thief in the night or is it Yahusha? Mine says Yahuwah. Okay. So Yahuwah is coming as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them as travail upon a woman and with child, and they shall not escape. Now, the Christians will say this somehow. This is the end time prophecies right here. When they're all saying peace and security, then sudden destruction is going to come upon all Israel and things of this nature. So they're, they've used the... the the letters of Brother Shaul to make all sorts of crazy stuff. All right, verse four. But ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. Now, right. we're just taking this out like Paul. He'd be like, never ever sleep. The Christian should be not sleeping. <laughs> well, there we are. We're definitely keeping Paul's commandments here. We're not sleeping, right? Uh, uh, he's not talking about a physical sleep. He's talking more like a spiritual sleep. Right. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. He, I, think, I think people took this seriously. Like people take well, the rest he, of Paul seriously. Talk, I think he's talking about sleep right here because he's talking about the, the children of the night. First, verse 5 says, You are children of the light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do. I think he's talking about actual sleep, but let us watch and be sober. I don't think he's talking about death. For they are asleep sleep for they that sleep no I think he's talking about a spiritual like, 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 like don't like sleep spiritually like keep like searching after Yahuwah mine says alert watchful cautious and on guard okay for they that sleep sleep in the night and they that be drunken are drunken in the night okay so that is going into this I think it's we're talking about sleeping and it may be I mean I don't think it's I think you're, you're right that it is a spiritual thing but he's not we're not talking death right? no no we're not, not death Okay, everyone... Like you said, if you said don't die and someone died, you'd be like, how are you supposed to follow that? Right, and so is there any commands or anything outside of Torah yet? I don't no. think so. He just says be, be diligent good book so watching far. so far. But let us, who are of the day, be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a helmet, the hope of Yeshua. And they don't have it. It's not actually a... What did you guys say? So, hope salvation. Of salvation. Yeah, so Yeshua... For those who do not know, it means salvation. salvation. Yahusha means salvation. So our creator named his son salvation. Okay, verse 9. For Elohim has not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain Yeshua by our Adin Yahusha Hamashiach, who died for us that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Okay, so I think this sleeping is about, um, yes. this, this one's about death. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, wherefore comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you and are over you in Yahuwah and admonish you. Did you say Yahuwah again? I said Yahuwah. It says Yahuwah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so there we go. And so what does it say? It says Lord in the other version. So, and we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you and are over you in, yeah, it would be Yahushua. Yahushua. Are over you in the, in the Adon and admonish you. And admonish you. Yeah, I think that is correct. So that is, that's still referring to Yahusha. Wow, these translations are just a mess. No, no wonder the Christians think they're all saved. They have one guy in a, a you know a church that tells them all this stuff, and they never ever read, and so they, they don't study this. Okay, thirteen. And to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake, and be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. All right. Well, I think you have a command to help me out here. I'm supposed to help the feeble-minded. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling that. I'm especially feeling that today. So anyway, anything outside of Torah? Is there anything that no, we have? That uh, we respect your elders. Yeah, well, respect warn them elders. that are unruly. Let that me. means like some wild, 
ravage this guy or something. Like you know, ravage yourself. Yeah, comfort the feeble-minded. I mean, if you have a guy that's like slow in the mind or slow to, you, you know, whatever. Not set up churches or anything like that. It doesn't say anything about churches. No. Okay. <clears throat> Fifteen. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow for that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. So. Evil, he yeah. says what Yehoshua said, don't like do, turn the other cheek, don't go, you don't always pay evil for evil. Yeah, don't render evil for evil with, you know, and violence begets violence, regardless of where it's at. 16, rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing. Okay, do we have rejoice evermore and pray without ceasing? I mean, are we... I mean, I think we should pray without ceasing. I don't I don't see that as a bad thing. No, I don't see this as That's bad. Not, it's not contrary to the Torah. It's not contrary to the Torah at all. Yeah, no, we absolutely should be praying without ceasing. And Yahushua, our, our Messiah, he was praying all the time. He's always praying. All right, 18. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of Elohim and Mashiach, Yahusha, concerning you. Quench not the Ruach, despise not prophecies, prophecies, what did your guys say? Nebuoth, Nebuoth which is like a prof, prophet. Do not prof treat prophecies with contempt. Okay. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Now, he doesn't, he says, you know, it says despise not prophecy. I, I think he's talking about good prophecy because if, like, if, if like someone wanted to say like, don't, don't follow your hoof, all this, that'd be like, don't, don't. Right, like, we well, would have that the command. The first lie says, prove them all, hold fast to what is good. Right, prove all, yeah, that's right, 21, yeah. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good, abstain from all appearance of evil. That's very with the Torah. And the very Elohim, M. Shalom, wow, this sounds weird. The God of peace. The, yeah, the, and, the, and the Elohim of peace himself make you completely Kadesh. Okay, and the very Elohim, M. Shalom, sanctify you wholly. And I pray to Elohim that your whole Ruach and soul and body be preserved blameless until the coming of our Adonai Yahusha HaMashiach. Faithful is he that calls you, who also will do it. Brethren, pray for us. Greet all the brethren with a holy kiss. I charge you by Yahuwah that this sefer be read unto all the holy brethren. The grace of our Adonai Yahusha HaMashiach be with you. Amen. Um, right. Does... 27, and you're going to say Yahuwah? Yeah, he said, my, I charge you by Yahuwah. What you going to say? By Yadon. Uh, yeah, again, they, they messed that up This again. whole book is messed up. Yeah, they, they really did a, a doozy on this thing. Um, okay, I guess that is it. That, that is our mission, and that is the, the family reading that we had, that we went through now three books of Brother Shaw's. Um, we have two kind of knots, and then we have one for sure, right? First Thessalonians... To me, it looks like doctrine, right? This right. Is, yeah. I don't know if so far, so we should kind of have it in our Bibles because this is meant for a certain time in a certain place because like certain things were happening, like they were like they got attacked at Philippos, they went to Greece, and then the, the coming of destruction where everyone thinks they're going to be destroyed, but that was happened before. Right, and so so it's like you can't like you got to understand this is a letter not to you but to a, a certain set of people. Right, and if we're eavesdropping on a letter from the outside, then we need to make sure it jives with Torah in everything that we do because if it doesn't then we are messing with Yah's laws and we, we can't do that. And, but a lot of it is good advice, just a lot of stuff that you got to understand that's happening in that time is not happening these days, so you can't like be ready to like run away and have pray for safety and peace like that. Yeah, it's, it's not like that. Yeah, we must endure to the end. And this is so much different than like First Timothy, where he wants you to have a widow that you must be 60 years old, and if you have a young widow, she's going to go out tattletailing, she's going to do tailbearing, and it's better for her to get married than it is because, and when she does get married, he says that she loses the faith of Mashiach, that she loses her first faith by remarrying. Well, Those I, are, I think that this is a real Paul in Thessalonians. I, I agree. And I think he was sabotaging other books. I believe that. I believe that what we have right now, I believe first, first Thessalonians is Brother Shaul, the real Brother Shaul. And, um, yeah, if you want to take this stuff to heart, you can take it to heart. But, again, it's not in the Torah. But there's nothing against the Torah, unlike in First Timothy and, I believe, parts of Titus, which we will uh, fine-tune at some point. So I guess that is it. Thank you guys very, very much for everybody that's out, that's out there. Um, if you don't watch anything else that we do, we do have a segment called Yahoo and the Torah. You can find us on Odyssey, BitChute, and three channels on YouTube. And, um, yeah, we will see you guys next time. And hopefully you guys are reading your Bibles. And hopefully you are seeking Yah where he may be found and the kingdom first. All right. Shalom. Shalom.